To episode 21. Hey. Yay. What do you guys think? He's doing it the wrong way. I'm doing it the right way. By the way, we're doing old Movember. We'll talk about it after. I'm not. Anyways, so we got some pretty crazy books today. It's a really good week. It's a really say. good one. Uh, we'll start off with a little lighthearted romp through my childhood. <laughs> uh, Peanuts issue zero. Fuck the origin of Charlie Brown. No. <laughs> The Peanuts. secret origin. Yeah. Peanuts is pretty much <laughs> amazing. Uh, so this is uh, Charles Schultz. He's it's like a lot of his classic stories. I think there's one new one written by different people. Probably. Just monsters. Yeah. Okay. So um, if you've ever seen Charlie Brown, the show, or read the comics. The strip on your Saturday morning comics. It's genius. Yeah. If you have, you're probably old as balls. <laughs> yeah, I read the comic strip when I was growing up. Did you guys not read that like in i don't remember papers? seeing it in newspapers yeah. so no, so. i remember like every morning before school it's in the paper so i would read it but sure. was it like re-syndication sort of stuff like essentially just no he was still stuff. alive like when he was doing it like when i was reading it like but he, um charlie brown is probably the most depressing child in the is world he the quintessential depression <laughs> yeah, i love him figurehead so of much the, he's yeah. like like there's one Living. in here where uh, lucy's like yo kick this football and he's like are you dumb Yo, life lesson. And then she starts crying, and then he's like, okay, fine, I'll do it. And then she pulls, pulls away. Back. And he's like, oh, I'm a bitch. And, she's and then like, she's like, never trust a woman who cries. <laughs> like, life lesson. You fool. It's true. It's she's just a bitch. She's a pretty big bitch. But uh, she, you know, she's cool. She's probably the smartest of the peanuts. Smarter yeah, than Snoopy. Like Smarter than Woodstock. Mm. Is that why she's always stuff. snapping on everyone? They're yeah. just too inferior to her? Exactly. Yeah. She's a psychologist. That's true. <laughs> Does what she wants. Yeah. Doesn't um, she charge a quarter though for each? I think person? it was like a nickel or something. She understands her audience, I guess. So, what you guys think? They are good. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's Charlie Brown. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> Charles Schultz's classic, you know, strip. I mean, there's not much we can say about it. We just want to say, hey, it's out. It's a dollar. Yeah, it's a dollar. Pick it up. It's good. It's Unlike good Space Man. <laughs> I like how all Whoa. the characters. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever they're, like, excited or exuberant about something, they'll hold their hands up and, like, wave them back and forth, and you see a little wave. It's good stuff. It's just, like, so whoever does... Like, Ricky, what's happening, man? It doesn't work without both. Nothing much. (laughs) All right, going from Charles Schultz to... There's no good segue. I wanted to rhyme Schultz with something, but I couldn't think of anything. Son You're of a adult. Bitch. Yeah, to adults. Uh, Animal Man number three, written by Man. Jeff Lemire. It's so good. Jeff Lemire <laughs> and uh, what's his name? Uh, Travel Foreman. Ooh, the yeah, greatest Travel name Foreman. writer <laughs> or uh, artist, I should say, <laughs> in the DC. So, uh, you thought shit got nuts in the second issue. Nick came as pants. Oof, I did. Like, I'm, like, the art in this book is like shit I haven't really seen. The closest I could think of is like parts in Akira. Like Tetsuo's yeah. like transforming and yeah. shit like that. That's the it's like it's out of its mind. This book's pretty nice. I absolutely love it. Just all the um, the invading creature things and how they're just these weird hybrids of animals, but it's like not obvious which ones. You know what I'm saying? And it's just it's just nuts. And it's kind of really cool where he's taking a story because Animal Man is actually taking a back seat almost. As to who he is, like how important he actually is to his own universe and characters, yeah. like he was basically brought in, or he's given the powers of. Did they say what the power? I don't know the red zone, to essentially impregnate a woman, and create the avatar so that the red zone can go to war. Basically, it's pretty cool. It's pretty I'm pretty cool. excited to see where that goes. It's and it, it connects like his relationship to, um, with his daughter. It when connects to Swamp Things Green. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm hoping for a so crossover. It cool. definitely will be. So, you know, if you've been following Swamp Swamp Thing and Animal Man, you're in for a treat. 
Um, what do you guys think of the writing? Personally, I thought the writing was a little over the top, a little dramatic, a little unnecessary. Um, I think the situation like, kind of calls for it, considering. I don't know. It, yeah. it almost read, reads like something I've written in grade 12. You know what I mean? Like when I was like thinking I was like, like the super, coolest. Uh, yeah. And like he's like, yeah, it's the source. It's the source of everything. And it's the most, I think you know, it's and it's like the other. And it's like, oh, come on. It's man. one of those situations where you have a lot of cool things to say and a lot of cool ideas in your brain. And like you're like, I just want to say them all at once, but I don't know how to say it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I think the writing it needs to tighten up the writing a little bit. You know, fluff. Be, <laughs> take fluff. I think he needs to be a little less vague with like the source and the other. Yeah, he doesn't. It's like, yeah. it's like, man. There's a grand idea, but no details to them. I guess. Yeah. yeah so yeah, I don't know. Overall, I'm really enjoying it. This is probably yeah. one of my favorite things from the real. <laughs> written, Still written by my past self. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> my grade twelve self. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Grade twelve, Ricky. Yeah. No, no honestly, if you read my grade 12 graduation comments, pretty much that. Reads like this. <laughs> All right, we got to post those somewhere, I guess. <laughs> Make a comic animal, animal man. Yeah, it's pretty embarrassing. Oh. Shut up. I'm, I'm just going to say, wow. high school Ricky. What a bitch. I hated high school Ricky. Yeah, no, me too. He always pushed me down. And I was like, Ricky, can you help me up? It's, Fuck you, stay at the ground. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I still hate it. Uh, going on from DC's relaunch to X Men's relaunch, kind of. One of the big four. One of the yeah. big four. We it's have it's uh, real Uncanny X Men, written by uh, Kieran Gillen, and uh, what's the other guy? Carlos Pacheco. Carlos Pacheco. Pacheco. So this one was. I, I think they talked too much at the beginning. It was like really? Fucking uh, yeah, with the part with the extermination team or They're just like team. hanging out. Yeah. So basically, this is like um. So Wolverine starts his school and. Cyclops is uh, starting his war. Essentially doing team. the same thing he's always been doing with the yeah. X Men. Well, yeah. Well, he's d- they got rid of the school with with uh, yeah, I get with uh, Cyclops. I don't know. I kind of like that they set the tone at the very beginning of the book to like say this is going to be a completely different thing that's happening in the school. Like, I mean, the X Men or Wolverine and the X Men kind of feels like it's going to be like more lighthearted adventure type stuff. But there'll be eventually a greater meaning to everything but i don't know like with uh sinister was sinister yeah. sinister yeah yeah sinister shows up goes inside of a celestial that's just hanging out at the on the beaches of san Dreaming francisco or something he's just like hey man just chilling out <laughs> on the beach and since like get a job and he takes <laughs> him over and then um right. he he lands somewhere and then everyone becomes sinister i was really confused he creates this like weird like yeah. World's know. fair looking thing, and everyone there is like sinister, but also dressed in like Victorian clothing. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't quite understand that ending. It's still kind of cool. He went to looking. the fine arts museum, so he's taking up all the fine art people <laughs> and turning them to sinister. It's more hipsters, man. He's just like, hey, man, you guys want to like listen to bands? So, like, yeah, man. <laughs> you don't even know them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make our own band. I don't know. I like that last battle, like the last four or five pages where they're fighting him basically yeah that's pretty cool and the part with colossus where he's like trying to rein in being the juggernaut and he's like trying to control that power but he really he can't mm-hmm. i think the book captured the uneasiness between the entire team yeah just like like right at the beginning storm's like okay how many people on this team have ever been a villain right or don't raise your hand and yeah. only her and like two other people and then yeah scott cyclops so raises his hand she's like really you doing that? Mm-hmm. You sure? Mm-hmm. You sure, bro? <laughs> I don't know about that. But couple that with all of the crazy art, and uh, I think this book's a winner. Do you, what do you like better, Wolverine the X Men or Uncanny X Men? Wolverine, Wolverine. and the X Men. It's more fun. Yeah, yeah it's like the art better. Yeah. When everything is a danger room. Yeah, more fun. <laughs> but uh, I I like how this one is a uh, you know big adventure kind of high stakes stuff. Yeah, I like that. It's cool. I, when I think of X Men, I think of like huge, kind of big, high stakes stuff. So, yeah, the Wolverine stuff is like X-Men. the misadventures. Like they're just <laughs> kind of going on, maybe. Wacky, schmacky, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but nice. Right, so, out of the three books, would you recommend Animal Man? Yeah, Wolverine. I mean, I would honestly recommend picking up all of them. There's something to enjoy from all these books this week. Yeah, especially Charlie Brown's a dollar. Yeah. It makes you feel good. If you don't have a dollar, what the hell's wrong with you? And if you never read Charlie Brown, uh, you what? Come on. <laughs> what? <laughs> good place to start, I guess. <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> Anything else this week coming out that you're excited about? Uh, Detective Comics. Yeah. Action Comics. Yeah, Action Detective Comics. Action. Uh, Mystic is ending. Uh, if anyone oh kept yeah. reading Mystic, which I don't know. 
fucking, <laughs> I'm fucking, fucking, I'm fucking enjoying it. Just you and me. It's a good time. Just you and me. Um, nothing really else. Um, yeah, no. Yeah. Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing. Maybe yeah. we'll see more connections between that and Animal Man. That'd be cool. Maybe I'll start reading Swamp Thing again. <laughs> too late you can't just all of a sudden be like i need to be sent actually <laughs> i have been around all along i can't read this thing fuck you <laughs> <laughs> hipster dude. it's a mustache really should we talk about the mustaches should we talk about this yes uh we're gonna be doing november for the month i'm starting clean like you're supposed to <laughs> i'm starting so that people know what's going on they're not like what the hell is that caterpillar doing on your face wow. and it's like this is my mustache man I don't know. I feel weird being 14 again, but it's it's all right, I guess. But it's okay. What happened to Ben? Spun I was just trying to sneak off in the corner. No, we know you're here. Yeah. Ah, jeez. No. What I mean, Lord if you high. guys want to, I'll post something, or a link to our little team page if you want to donate to us. If not, donate. Do it yourself. I mean, it's a good cause if you're a bro. I mean, let's be honest. There's probably a lot of dudes watching <laughs> this show instead of... <laughs> What? No. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Chicks everywhere. Who are you to deny women to participate in Movember? Huh? Oh, no. I, in our mission statement, I say, ladies, if you want to participate, throw a piece of felt on your lip or color in a piece of paper. Hey, yeah, it's a good know. idea. See? Ladies? I covered my bases. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, unibrow. I was wrong yeah. to that. Yeah. That's cool. Dude. But uh, we've also been playing around with the idea, maybe if you guys donate a lot, maybe we'll do something stupid that you'll vote on. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe you'll mm-hmm. win a prize. I don't know. What? Maybe you gotta donate some money. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. All right. So look up that Movember link. That'll be somewhere. Maybe here. Maybe in the description below. Behind the scenes over here. <laughs> Outtakes over here. <laughs> wow. All right. So uh, on three, everybody. One, two, three. Flavorful, Flavorful sauce. sauce.